Midland, Odessa and Big Spring. This is ABC Big 2 News at 10. A local candlelight vigil was held tonight in solidarity with Ukraine. Several dozen people showed up to the vigil in Midland where they prayed for people escaping the country. Good evening, I'm Carson Bush Jost. And I'm Madeline Bierster. ABC Big 2's Rob Took joins us live now from the Tailgate Restaurant. Yeah, Rob, that vigil just ended. Well, that's right, guys. It was an emotional night with a number of families showing up to this vigil outside. They wanted to show support for those in Ukraine, but also for the families here in the basin with loved ones abroad affected by the violence. Now, the night began with song and prayer, asking Christ for resolution and for safe passage for the Ukrainian families looking for refuge. On the main stage, a projector shows the Ukrainian flag with the words, pray for Ukraine. During the night, there was talk about the organizations helping families reconnect with loved ones and mention of the organizations abroad helping fight human trafficking. It was mentioned that a number of the people leaving Ukraine right now are just women and children going into places like Moldova and Poland. But a big focus to tonight was about those fighting the war on the ground, both Ukrainians and Russians. Candles were lit using other candles, a sign of solidarity and support of one another. Now, I also spoke with the family who has loved ones abroad in Ukraine and also adopted two sons from Ukraine. Those boys are safe in the U.S. tonight, but their adoption facilitator was killed on Sunday in Ukraine. I asked the couple about their sons and what it means to see all these people gather with the same sentiment that they are praying for Ukraine. Well, our, our boys that are still in Ukraine, they know that we're praying. They know that there are a lot of people standing in solidarity with them. So that would just be the thing that I would want to reinforce is that there were a lot of people here tonight. There are people all over the world who are praying for them. But I know they know that, and I know they feel it. Now, earlier today, I spoke with the owner of the tailgate who said he didn't know who would show up on such short notice. But after tonight's vigil, he said he was blessed. And it was a blessing to see all these people show up with the same thing on their mind, hoping that this conflict is resolved peacefully. Reporting live from Midland, Rob Took, ABC Big 2 News. Okay, thank you, Rob. Well, people on Galveston Beach showed support for Ukrainians today. You see Ukraine there spelled out in big letters uh, on the sand. Well, President Biden is targeting a new group of Russian oligarchs today, blocking their travel to the U.S. and moving to seize their assets now. While inside Russia, the rubble has now lost half of its value. ABC's James Longman is in Moscow for the latest tonight. Tonight, America's economic assault on Russia's elite ramps up a gear. The White House hoping financial pain will force Putin to end his war. Among those targeted in new sanctions are Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov and oligarchs Nikolai Tokarev and Alisher Usmanov, some of Russia's wealthiest people and close Putin allies. Usmanov's super yacht seized by Germany, his private jet now banned in the U.S., both estimated to be worth hundreds of millions of dollars. The goal was to maximize the impact on Putin and Russia and minimize the harm on us and our allies and friends around the world. The U.S. is also blocking at least 19 oligarchs and 47 of their relatives and close associates from traveling to the United States. Overseas, the European Union is already taking action against Putin's circle. This 280-foot yacht owned by the CEO of state oil company Rosneft seized in the south of France. The U.S. and its allies are going after the oligarchs, Russia's richest, because they believe Putin's closest, wealthiest friends might have the most influence. Think mafia, where everybody kisses the ring of the boss, and he makes lots and lots of money. By sanctioning them, we are putting pressure on all of Putin's ruling kleptocracy. In 2017, one estimate put Putin's own worth at over $200 billion. And tonight, eight days into the war, the Russian ruble has lost nearly half of its value. One ruble now worth a little less than one cent on the dollar. Moscow's last liberal TV station was shut down today. Their final broadcast was Swan Lake, hugely symbolic because it was the ballet shown on state TV in 1991 that marked the final fall of the Soviet Union. Press freedoms are in the balance tomorrow. A new law is going to be debated that essentially makes broadcasting news that the government doesn't agree with punishable by up to 15 years in jail. James Longman, ABC News in Moscow. And to keep up with the very latest developments on the invasion into Ukraine, download the Your Basin app today. 
now, your forecast first on ABC Big 2 News. Wow, Chase, it was such a great day. Yeah. I, I am looking forward to Friday and Saturday. Oh, my mm. goodness. <laughs> Friday and Saturday are going to be pool days. We're going to be chilling, <laughs> you grilling, go. all the above. Yeah. Well, well, if you, make you it, can do outside. Yeah, there's all, <laughs> just limitless activities. Yeah. We've got so much room for activities outside, especially with these temperatures cooperating the way that they are. But if you do get into the pool, it may be a little bit chilly, so maybe kind of hang around outside of the pool. Either way, we're still warming up. Three degrees over this time yesterday for Odessa Midland, 10 in Wink and 13 in Pecos. So very, very warm out there compared to where we were yesterday. And that put us above average for our high temperatures today here in Odessa Midland. We made it up to 74 this afternoon compared to that normal of 68. So really, really pleasant afternoons. But I've got some more good news for you. This morning, pretty chilly. 36 degrees came in below average. But by the time we get to tomorrow morning, we're actually going to come in on the high side of that normal only dropping down to about 51 for tomorrow morning. A much, much warmer start to the day than where we had earlier today. I'll be sure to take a look at what that Friday forecast is looking like. Coming up first, back to you, Madeline. All right, thank you, Chase. Today, President Biden signed the Ending Forced Arbitration of Sexual Assault and Sexual Harassment Act of 2021. Now, this all comes after former Fox News anchor Gretchen Carlson helped launch the Me Too movement. She said that this bill would make the workplace it's much safer for millions of Americans. Today we send a clear and strong message that we stand with you for safety, dignity, and for justice. I can't think of a better way to kick off Women's History Month than by signing a bill that will make the workplace safer for millions of women. Well, North Texas Congressman is ending his reelection bid. Representative Van Taylor says he will not seek another term after admitting to having an affair. One Republican strategist says the scandal will diminish Taylor's voice in Washington now. I think he'll lose staff. There's no more meetings. There's no no one's going to take him seriously. He maybe could contribute to a few votes, but he's done. Now that Taylor's ending his bid for re-election, former Collin County Judge Keith Self will be put on the November ballot. Developing now on ABC Big 2 News. Developing now at 10, have you seen this man? Big Spring Crime Stoppers say he walked into a Walmart on FM 700 and stole a cell phone that someone else accidentally left inside. This was back on February 25th. If you know anything about this, call Big, Cr Big Spring Crime Stoppers. And tonight, police say at least one person is dead after a crash in Midland on Big Spring Street and Cuthbert Avenue. Police are investigating the crash still. It's happened around 6 p.m. tonight. That intersection is still closed for the time being, and drivers are encouraged to find other routes at this time. An update now at 10. A New Orleans family is still demanding answers nearly two weeks after their daughter was dropped off at a hospital dead. Yeah, police say an Uber driver dropped her off. Our Brittany Dixon has the latest. The family has not gotten a single call or update from anybody. Not even the name of the Uber driver that, according to police reports, dropped hey, Whetstone off policy. at New Orleans East Hospital the morning of February 19th after she'd been out celebrating Mardi Gras. She is a precious angel, and I will not rest. She's mine, and I owe her the rest of my life. Family attorneys tell us that around 1.30 in the morning, Whetstone decided to go home to check on her dog. That's when she ordered an Uber. It's what happened from then until 6.30 that morning when she was dropped off at the hospital that remains unclear to everyone. Mom called Kaya's cell phone. And it wasn't Kaya who answered. It was a nurse in the hospital. And she then has to find out when the phone gets handed to a doctor, ma'am, things are not good with your daughter. We can't point any blame or point any fingers at this time because we do not know what happened. But answers aren't all they want. Family attorney in South Carolina State Representative Justin Bamberg is pushing for change. Well, what happened? Where's the video? Why are there not... Why are there not camera systems and Ubers in 2022? 
If there was a camera system in that car mandated by Uber, we would know what conversations took place. Reports show police did try to talk to the Uber driver who allegedly dropped Whetstone at the hospital later that morning. But when they showed up at his address, he wasn't there. Police say they have not named any suspects in the case, but haven't clarified if they've since been able to find that driver. Just come forward so my family can rest, so she can rest because she deserves that. And coming up after the break, we'll take a look at this warming trend and where that puts us by tomorrow afternoon. But it is going to be warmer. It is going to be nicer out there tomorrow than it was even today. And this allergy report looks even nicer today than it did yesterday. Weeds pollen now in the absent category. No weeds pollen is out there. Check out johndbraymd.com for more information if you need to. And stay tuned after the break for a look at our high temperatures for tomorrow as well as the weekend coming up after the break. A mother and her children went missing for years. But now there's been a breakthrough in the case. One suspect is now in custody. The two high school teams for the baseball uh, diamond put their rivalry on the line. We'll have the highlights on The Clash. And a woman wins big but doesn't realize it. What you need to know the next time you buy a lottery ticket. And as we had to break, a reminder that if you see news happening, share your videos and photos on social media with us. Make sure to use the hashtag ABCBig2News. And if you haven't done it yet, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. We are ABCBig2News. Spokesperson for Robert White. I could hurt in a car wreck, and hiring a lawyer sounds like such a hassle. My team can't evaluate your case in less than five minutes, and that free five-minute call could mean the difference of thousands of dollars for you. Robert White got a client who injured their arm in a car wreck $273,495. It only takes five minutes? Why wouldn't you call? If you've been hurt in a car wreck, a free five-minute call is just that easy. Hurt in a car crash? Call 580-5421. We got a chubby and cheeky show for you tonight. Kimmel makes late night. I've never felt less attractive than I do right now. Look good. I like your style on this show. Maybe I'll come back in five years. <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel Live, new weeknights on ABC and stream on Hulu. A fresh start begins with fresh choices, like choosing to save more with Suddenlink. Get reliable, high-speed, one-gig internet for just $49.99 a month. With it, you'll get a $200 Visa prepaid card, HBO Max included on us for one year, and a free Suddenlink stream with your favorite shows and streaming apps all in one device. Choose to start fresh by saving more on our fastest speed. Plus, as part of optimum flexibility from Suddenlink, there are no contracts or hidden fees. And unlock even more value when you combine with Optimum Mobile. Visit Suddenlink.com today. Join us at Johnny Carino's for our 5 for $15 ribeye steak and shrimp meal deal. Enjoy our Italian nachos appetizer. Juicy, char-grilled ribeye steak. Crispy Parmesan shrimp. Your choice of pasta, a refreshing beverage, and our fresh baked bread for only $15. Dine in or take home for a limited time. Plus, join us for half price family platters every Monday after 4 p.m. Choose from a variety of our signature Italian dishes served family style, such as our classic hand-breaded chicken parmesan. Hurry in for dine in or take home at Johnny Carino's. Truckloads! Truckloads! Now arriving at Allen's Gallery of Furniture and Appliances, say big on over 50 major manufacturers during Allen's Truckload Sale. Huge savings and selection on furniture, mattresses, and appliances. Come see us during Allen's Truckload Sale. Hurry in for the best selection. We'll save you money. Wow! We all have a story to tell. But what makes each one different? Is not how the story ends, but rather the place where it begins. You in? local weather authority we warned you first our team is working around the clock to keep you and your family safe what you need to know on abc big two news watch good morning basin from five to seven on abc big two and now your local weather authority forecast
Well, good evening, everybody. We've got some clear conditions out there for some parts of West Texas, but Odessa Midland, not really one of those parts. You can really see really cloudy conditions out there here on top of Midland right now, but these are still not rain clouds. It's going to be a little while before we see any rain chances return to the forecast, but at least humidity is on the up and up as evidenced by that cloud cover out there. Even still, a good look outside at the Midland skyline currently. And switching over here to our temperature change chart, you can see that we're still warm warming up. Even with those clouds out there, we managed to pick up another three degrees here in Odessa Midland over this time yesterday. We're up 13 in Pecos and 10 in Van Horn. So significant temperature changes throughout parts of the Trans-Pecos and some of the higher elevations. That's partly due to this cloud cover in the evening time. Of course, if we pick up any cloud cover in the daytime, that's going to offset a lot of the sunlight, not allow us to warm up too much. But when these clouds roll in after the sun sets, that's actually going to trap some of that heat, not allow it to dissipate keep our temperatures a little warmer than they otherwise would have been. And we've also got a little bit of rain out there right now in southeast New Mexico, but we're too dry to really know whether that rain is actually making it all the way down to the ground. Sometimes those raindrops can actually evaporate on their way from the cloud to the surface, and that could be what's happening right now in southeast New Mexico. We actually don't have any observed rainfall right now. Our official observation sites are still reporting zero-inch rain totals right now, but it still shows off a lot of humidity rushing into West Texas, so good news there. It's not going to be quite as dry tomorrow as it was earlier today, and that's going to have effects on our temperatures. Notice we're sitting at 56 degrees right now, a little warmer than where we landed yesterday because that humidity as well as the cloud cover are working together to trap the heat that we got from this afternoon and not allow our temperatures to drop off too quickly through the evening hours. Now we've also got some winds coming in out of the south, which will be pushing a little bit of humidity our way too. You can see as we head into the early morning hours, winds will be at about 10 to 15 miles per hour here across the basin. Now they will subside a little bit in the basin, not too much, but notice out to the west, you see much, much higher wind speeds in places like the Guadalupe Pass as early as about 1 p.m. Once we get into the later afternoon hours though, winds out west start to die down, but increase here in the basin. So kind of a tale of two forecasts, depending on your elevation. Now, as we do continue into tomorrow, it is going to be dry enough for the National Weather Service to have issued this fire weather warning set to expire at 9 p.m. tomorrow evening. Now, even though we are picking up a little bit of humidity, it's not really a whole lot. So conditions are going to remain dry for tomorrow as well at the higher elevations. And those winds picking up mean that we do have some fire weather concerns. So be careful with sparks and flames and cigarette butts, things like that tomorrow afternoon especially. Now as we head to the afternoon hours though, we pick up to 80 degrees for our high here in Odessa Midland, 75 on Saturday, 79 on Sunday. Great, great weekend to look forward to, but winds increase even further as we head to Sunday. So make sure to hold on to your hat out there and be careful when driving around. We'll also pick up a cold front Monday of next week. So if you like the warmer temperatures, enjoy the weekend. Yeah. That's right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But especially you. Especially. Especially <laughs> me. I feel like this is really the first almost I'm not going to say hot, but really warm day we've had this year, so I'm really excited. Yeah, yeah. fun fact, actually, uh, now that you mention it, that could be the hottest temperature that we'll record uh, so far this year if we do hit that 80 degree ding, high ding. tomorrow. So, yeah. Should have been a meteorologist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, looking forward to the weekend. Thanks. Thank for you. Guys. Thanks. Well, Buffalo, New York mother and her children went missing for three years. They were just found in New Mexico. Crazy story here. Now the mother is in custody. Our Jeffrey Preval has the latest. Katie Reinford and her two children, Olivia, who's now 11, and Mason, who's now four, disappeared three years ago. Reinford and the father of the two children, Peter Dyer Bakerly, were in a custody dispute over the kids. Katie filed a written response, which in part contained, I have been forced into hiding. Essentially, when things weren't going her way in the family court, um, she decided to start making allegations when things weren't going her way, and then decided just not to appear. That was her solution to the problem. Dyer Bakerly was granted custody, and officials say Ryford skipped town. News 4 Investigates has reported that leads on their whereabouts went cold until recently. Using information that was obtained from the FBI and independently gathered, our CIB, our Criminal Investigations Bureau, turned our attention to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Investigators say Ryford was living under a new identity, and they believe that she was getting help from family in New Mexico and in western New York. The kids were listed under a different last name and were in school. 
I, I can only speculate um, that they went to New Mexico because it's a very large uh, school district at, at that location in Albuquerque. And proof of who you are is, is very, um, it's not required that you provide much proof of who you are to register your kids in school or to get assistance, uh, public type assistance. Olivia and Mason are in the care of Children and Family Services in New Mexico. This afternoon, Ryford waived extradition and is in the process of being brought back to New York State to face charges of custodial interference, a felony, and a family court order violation, which is a misdemeanor. And now, your ABC Big 2 Sports. Let's head over to sports with Avi Carcloth. Avi, a large crowd was on hand to watch the big Crosstown game. Yeah, a big crowd indeed at uh, the ballpark tonight. Today was the start of the 48th annual Tournament of Champions taking place across four fields in Midland. High school baseball teams from all over West Texas pulled up to the tall city where they'll be playing games all the way through Saturday. Medlin High and Legacy served as the de facto tournament hosts, the Bulldogs, who last won the tournament in 2019, and then we got the Rebels, who haven't won the tourney since 2016. Both had district games to kick things off, and they matched up in a great finale to the tournament's opening day. Uh, battle for the tall city. Chase Shores on the mound, one of the top pitching recruits in the country. He's committed to playing for LSU and look at all these scouts coming equipped with their radar guns ready to take in his performance but his first notable action came at the plate bottom of the first two runners on Shores cranks one to deep left center dropping just in front of the wall one run scores easily but on the relay throw a bang bang play at the plate Landry Walls the catcher stretches to make the tag and Peyton Miller is out at the plate Shores does get the RBI double and while it's only run one run the score is now one to nothing. Top of the second, Shores goes to work on the mound. He's consistently hitting mid to high 90s on some of his pitches. I know that because I saw some of those scouts radar guns. He strikes out the side like it's nothing. Shores an easy work. And then in the top of the third, same story, different frame. He gets another three in a row, striking out the side again. They all go down swing. That's six strikeouts in a row. Two straight innings where the Bulldogs couldn't even put the ball in play. He'd extend the streak to seven in a row for the fourth and, and finally get a fly ball out to end it. A low scoring affair, but the Rebels, they get the win. The NFL and NFL Players Association have agreed to halt all aspects of their joint COVID-19 protocols effective immediately. Following nearly two years of restrictions, operations will return to normal. The league relayed in a memo today obtained by NFL Network's Tom Pelissero. It is a long-awaited announcement as there will be no more requirements for masks, tracking devices, surveillance testing, or capacity limits, unless, of course, they're required by state or local laws. Based on current encouraging trends regarding the prevalence and severity of COVID-19, the evolving guidance from the CDC changes to state law and the counsel of our respective experts. The NFL and NFLPA have agreed to suspend all aspects of the joint COVID-19 protocols, the league memo read in part. It continues, we will continue to prioritize the health and safety of players, coaches, and staff as we have throughout the pandemic. At this point in the offseason, there aren't any football activities at team facilities, but this will affect coaches and staff who are attending the NFL Combine in Indianapolis. And Madeline and Carson, as we went on air, Odessa College Basketball won their Region 5 tournament game. They'll play again tomorrow in the tournament semifinals. So again, college basketball really heating up as we get right into the meat of March. You'll love to see it. Yeah, hey, I want to get back to this Chase Shores guy. My goodness, Yeah. upper 90s? If I mean, you're standing in that box, you got to be trembling. I think yeah. the highest he hit was like 97, 98. I mean, this is a high school senior we're talking about. Wait till he gets to the college and, you know, maybe even beyond that. Oh. I love when the umpire is like... <laughs> he made it emphatic, too. <laughs> that's my favorite. Yeah. That's the yeah. only thing I was looking at. I was like, yes. Yes. Fury and fire. <laughs> All, All right. right. <laughs> Entertainment at the ballpark. Thanks, Avi. Coming up, a woman is giving a prime example of why you should do this the next time you buy a lotto ticket. We'll have details. ABC Big Two Sports, brought to you by Glasheen Vias and Enderman Injury Lawyers. This is you, right? Like, you're like, mm, 
Bacon, bacon, bacon. Well, this is you. Oh, I love bacon. Sonic bacon on bacon, quarter pound double cheeseburger. Okay, you got me. <laughs> oh. Russia invades Ukraine. Air raid sirens are going off right now. News Nation has live continuing coverage. But just a few hours ago, our crew had to evacuate their hotel. From the front lines to our homeland. It's kind of the way that it's become here. It's part of the everyday routine. And it's terrible. The truth about what you need to know. We're living in real hell. As you said, Americans, we're not used to that. News Nation is news for all America. For continuing coverage on Russia at War, stay tuned to News Nation. Looking for the best brands, the best selection, all at the best prices? Then Denver Mattress has you covered. And during the 36-hour sale, check out the budget-friendly Summit Firm. Easy on the wallet for only $284.99. Shop our Doctor's Choice original lineup starting at only $664.99. Or get a free $300 gift when you purchase any Tempur-Pedic. Plus, five years no interest and free shipping. Shop the best of the best at the best prices. Only at Denver Mattress. The easiest way to get the right mattress. Grande is becoming a Stown Broadband. We've been a part of your community for years, providing you with award-winning internet service and 24-7 customer support. We connect you to a world of astounding possibilities. Your passions are what fuel us to keep innovating and to continue to astound you every day. Get 300 meg internet for $25.99 a month for 12 months, plus standard Wi-Fi. Introducing Astound Broadband, powered by Grande. Thomas Oil Field Services is having a job fair. They treat you like family. Because everybody just works together. They put me with guys that really helped me understand like what we were doing. On March 10th, we are hiring CDL and non-CDL positions. And they put trust into their guys. The fair will have same-day job interviews and on-the-spot hiring. Find your spot on the best team in the business. It's a very good company to work for, and I'm glad I'm a part of it. Thomas Oil Field Services. My English teacher in fourth grade, she used to get really upset with me. She said, Nico, when you're writing these papers, you can't use the word stuff. But there's no other word to describe besides stuff. There's just a bunch of stuff in here. Sonic, double stuff, Oreo, waffle cone, and blast. Double things, Oreo blast. All right, get this. A lucky lottery winner ignored the calls telling her about her good fortune. Couldn't even, um, I would be so mad. Uh -huh. An Australian woman says she pur purchased a lottery ticket from an online site, forgot to check on the drawing. That ticket was a winner. Lottery officials called and emailed the winner to contact her, but all calls and emails were ignored. The woman says she thought it was just spam. Finally, she logged on to her online lottery account, only to find she'd won more than $72,000. <sighs> You're telling me all those telemarketing calls I get every day, maybe it's you know, <laughs> There you go. Winner. Start picking up. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, an e-commerce giant is ending its run with physical stores. Amazon is planning to shutter all 68 of its retail bookstores, pop-up shops, and four-star stores in the U.S. and U.K. The Saddlebags company said it plans to focus more on its Amazon Fresh, Whole Foods Market, and Amazon Go grocery and convenience stores, in addition to cashierless checkout concepts. Closure dates for Amazon's retail stores will vary by location. Coming up, a popular internet game you probably play is getting too popular. Why you need to watch out the next time you play it. Buy the king size mattress for the queen size price. Everybody does that, right? At Bob Mills, you get the king size mattress for the queen size price, but I'll give you the sleep spa bonus. Like the beautiful king sheets and pillows. You're gonna need all that for your new king size bed. Here's the Somniva King mattress. Queen price, just $19.96. The sheets and pillows, free. That's the sleep spa bonus. Bob Mills Sleep Spa. Ah. It all starts with a smile. To show you care, offer a sign of love, welcome someone home. Even when we don't see each other, we share a room, even without words. Smiles bring us together. Let's keep yours healthy. Abbeville Dentistry. Schedule online at abbevilledentistry.com. This is the sound of connecting. Good morning. Of learning, creating, competing, bonding. How's he doing? A lot better. This is the sound of fast, reliable internet. 
a fiber-powered network, All right, push. Push, push, delivering push, push. speeds up to one gig, absolutely, and whole home Wi-Fi. So all your devices stay connected. This is the sound of Sparklight. A stronger connection. choose a penguin as their spokes bird. They're not your typical eye care company. I'm not your typical penguin. How is Stanton Optical different from all the other eye care services? Reliable professional advice. Same day glasses, unbeatable prices and eye exams whenever you need them. I could go Stan? on. Stan? Yes? How does it feel to be the new face of Stanton Optical? We're a team. There's no I in eye care. Wait. <laughs> you know what I mean. Get two pairs of glasses plus a free eye exam, anti-glare lenses and same day service for only $79. Trending tonight, could smartphone functions all disappear into your mind's eye? Apple might want to make that happen. A report says Apple is designing high-tech contact lenses that blend in with your eyes and use a reality operating system for phone calls, web searching, and even games. The report says it could come out by the year 2030. Pretty cool. Wow, the future is coming. <laughs> Wordle, the word game catching the internet by storm, is so popular, it's being replicated dozens of times. Copycats of Wordle are once again popping up on the App Store. Now, this comes after Apple deleted a lot of them in January. The clones pop up when you search Wordle in the search bar and tend to look a lot like it, as you see here. Are you on that game? I think I might have downloaded one of those. Wow, An falling accident, victim But not on it. purpose, so it's All okay. Right. <laughs> well, for more of those training stories, head to yourbasin.com. We'll be back after the break. People ask me all the time, how come the best crawfish come from Louisiana? You know what I say? Clean water and blackjack mud. Louisiana gold as far as you can see. These crawfish get way down in the mud where it's cool and keeps them fat and happy. Each season we catch millions of pounds and they go straight to H-E-B. Now this is my Louisiana gold. Mmm, thought said bon. This is the best live crawfish department at H-E-B. No store does more than my H-E-B. Join us at Johnny Carino's for our 5 for $15 ribeye steak and shrimp meal deal. Enjoy our Italian nachos appetizer. Juicy, char-grilled ribeye steak. Crispy Parmesan shrimp. Your choice of pasta, a refreshing beverage, and our fresh-baked bread for only $15. Dine in or take home for a limited time. Plus, join us for half-price family platters every Monday after 4 p.m. Choose from a variety of our signature Italian dishes served family style, such as our classic hand-breaded chicken Parmesan. Hurry in for dine in or take home at Johnny Carino's. We're optimizing your connections. Our new smart Wi-Fi 6 technology powered by Optimum features mesh coverage for a better whole home Wi-Fi experience. Now with an extender included, you'll get Wi-Fi even in those hard to reach places. Stream, work and game faster, all on one powerful mesh Wi-Fi network. Greater whole home coverage is here with smart Wi-Fi 6, now including a free Wi-Fi extender with select internet packages. Truckloads, truckloads, now arriving at Allen's Gallery of Furniture and Appliances. Say big on over 50 major manufacturers during Allen's truckload sale. Huge savings and selection on furniture, mattresses, and appliances. Come see us during Allen's truckload sale. Hurry in for the best selection. We'll save you money. Wow! Well, if you're thinking of getting that next tattoo, well, we'll have the place for you. The local convention with dozens of tattoo artists. What you need to know before you go, coming up tomorrow on Good Morning Basin.
And welcome back. Here's the last look at that seven day forecast with high temperatures picking all the way up to 80 degrees for tomorrow afternoon. A very nice, pleasant day. Wind speeds will be a little bit higher and it is going to remain dry. So watch out for sparks, flames, cigarette butts, things like that tomorrow. We do cool down for Saturday, but the sun does come out. Sunglasses. Can't wait. All right, thanks for joining us tonight. We'll see you back here tomorrow.